what happened? What the fuck happened to this franchise? What is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and I went to the theater mostly because I was bored, and I saw Expendables 4. This is a 2023 film that, I'll be honest, I don't give a shit about the Expendables franchise. I haven't liked any of them. But I respected the fact that they were supposed to be a throwback to action movies. And they had the the old school action movie stars. And I appreciated what they were doing. I appreciated what the films were trying to accomplish. And I respected people that loved the franchise. Even if I didn't. But now this is the most bottom of the barrel scraping what we can sort of try to collect but they won't from this franchise this was horrible this was awful this is going to be one of the worst movies of the year i'm trying to think of what i would put up there thinking about what's going to make my list this is going to be high up there i almost walked out of the theater Two or three different times. And I only didn't because I said, fuck it. <laughs> you know, I went out and went to the bathroom twice, which I never really do during a film, especially if I'm actually engaged in it. But I did it mostly just to get out of my chair, to get out of the theater, to be able to walk around and just enjoy life a little bit more. Oi, man. If you are a defender, a lover of the Expendables franchise, I dare you. I defy you to defend this bullshit. So, we have Sylvester Stallone coming back at like 79 years old, however old he is. And I couldn't... I was watching him and thinking, you didn't come back to Creed 3 due to what creative differences. But you came back for this shit? Fuck off. <laughs> Especially when what you see, what they do with Stallone and his character. He was only here to collect a paycheck. There was no integrity, no I need to preserve the story and the legacy and blah 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 bullshit bullshit. Jason Statham is probably the only one that I can say seemed like he was trying. Or trying at a Jason Statham level because he's still looks as young as he needs to look he's still capable uh, of doing the action and doing the things that you like for him but because he's the, the jason statham maybe i have too much respect for him or maybe i uh, assume that he wouldn't just collect a paycheck and do some shitty film i know he has done bad movies but why did he come back for this why Especially when you see all of the people, the other members of the Expendables group that were in the other movies didn't come back for this. Like a Terry Crews and like even Schwarzenegger. They all said no because this film is such bullshit. So the most cliched plot where you have this terrorist guy who's actually from the raid, Eko Iwas. And he's threatening enough. They don't give him a whole, whole lot to do. And especially, you have a twist on who's actually the real villain. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? So, a waste of that character. But he's going around. He's trying to collect nuclear codes. Sound familiar? He's trying to collect nuclear codes so that he can start World War Three. <laughs> I'm just laughing my ass off of like, man, you guys didn't even try. Didn't even bother to do something different. And the budget of this movie is a hundred million dollars. How? Somebody's stealing money. Somebody is pocketing some cash, going behind producers' back. Maybe it's the producers themselves. I hope Stallone and Statham got a decent paycheck because, fuck, some of the action, there are background green screen cgi shots of like characters who are supposed to be doing actiony stuff or shooting guns but the background is clearly a green screen 
This is the lowest. I did not expect to see that 100 million budget when I was looking up information about this. So you have your usuals like your Dolph Lundgrens and your Randy Couture. I guess they just didn't have anything better to do that weekend. But as far as a new cast, instead of, you know, the people that at least made the other movies fun, or at least they had good personality, 50 Cent shows up. And I was willing at first to give 50 Cent a shot to see, like, okay, let's see what he can do with this. And the dialogue's terrible, but if he had some energy to him, if he was able to deliver lines, not mush mouth and not mumble mouth, and actually be coherent and sound like he wanted to be here, I was surprised because when was the last time 50 Cent was in a movie that was in theaters that wasn't direct to DVD or direct to video? I thought he would take this chance to shine, to show some personality, to let other people know that even if the movie sucks, cast me for whatever movie you're thinking of. No, he just slept, walked his way through this entire film. Megan Fox. Now, I'm somebody that has always been a defender of Megan Fox as an actress. Sure, she's hot as fuck, and so that's going to get you a long way. But I always thought that there was a little bit more to her as an actress. And I'm not saying she's bad here. I just don't really think I buy her in this role, or at least buy how hard they were trying to be like, women can be badasses too. And they can, that's fine. Expendables 3 had Ronda Rousey, who's not a good actress, but I could buy her in a role like this. If it was somebody like that, or Michelle Rodriguez, clearly they would have said no, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't just, I just don't think Megan Fox was the right person for this. She's hot in the movie, but I just, <laughs> kind of weird. Also, Tony Ja shows up and kind of is one of the more badass things about the film. Again, his talents were not... Um, he deserved better. He deserved a better movie than this bullshit. Andy Garcia just happens to show up. So, hmm, I wonder who that twist villain might have been. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I'm just spoiling the fuck out of this shit. I'm going to go out and say that this movie is a fuck you. So, now that you heard my, my thoughts, my rating, and how I truly feel, I just have to get this off my chest. I could not believe the first half hour of the movie, Stallone gets killed off. And, I mean, and he, his body burns brutally uh, as the helicopter blows up and you're like, fuck. I know he's older, but they fucking did it. They killed him, and they left no doubt because his body's melted, and you see the ring on the finger. The last 10 minutes of the movie, he shows back up in a helicopter and reveals that he faked his death because there was a... And I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh, and they show how he swapped the bodies, and he put some gang guy in there who probably didn't even deserve to die. It was all so convoluted, all so dumb. And that's when I realized that this franchise needs to be buried, needs to just have every last piece of breath gone from its body. No moss, no more films. It doesn't deserve it. This almost made me feel bad for shitting on Fast and Furious. Not quite, but almost made me feel bad for shitting on... And if you're going to shit on comic book movies and superhero movies, don't make bullshit like this and say this is cinema or this is real action. It's all bullshit, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So guys, <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you too have seen... The Expendables 4, but judging by the weekend box office, I doubt it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!